It's got an amazing sweetness to it, actually. But it's still lemony, yeah. The flavour of the lemon still comes through really it's beautifully. It's intense, yeah. So that we just put straight in the bowl. And you've got that, and there's that light, sort of crunchy element mm. of the fennel. Just move that mandolin away, because okay, you've got enough yeah. fennel there. OK. If you just mix it up for me, Matthew. Well, I'd better get a spoon for that. Yeah, right, so we're almost there, Matthew. Once you've mixed that, we're just going to put that yeah. gently into these shells. A you bit just easier. check the taste, Matthew, make sure you're happy. Oh, no, I'm, I'm happy. I think, hang on. Mmm, actually. So the oysters, Matthew. That is seriously yummy. Oysters go straight in the hot fat. I'm just going 180. To stir that up a bit more because these things slightly get. Have we started frying the oysters yep. already? Okay, gosh. We better get Oysters a bit of a move on the here. There we go. It's about 180. And do you want it? Yeah, like, shall I just show you, Matthew? Show me how it's done, then, chef. Just like this. Nice little pile in each. Oh, I see. Can you just uh, check the oysters for me? Maybe lift them up. Whoops. Just lift those yeah. up. No, then. Okay. I think okay. they're almost ready, but not quite. They've got a sort okay. of pale colour. And that looks so pretty enough to eat as it is. Yeah, it's lovely, but wait till you get the hot oyster on top. Now, the oysters, we just take very lightly cooked. OK. Because... So that's literally just a few seconds, isn't it? Because you, if you go any more, Matthew... Yeah. ..what happens is you, um, you dry out the oyster. Oh, I see. And they go all sort of yeah. flat and, and flabby and Remember, not, not at all nice. You don't want to season this because they're already salty enough. OK. Well, I think that is a really sensational, beautiful, light-looking dish. And I think it's probably got the best elements of both the sea and the land in there. Mm, wait till you taste it, because the oysters okay. still retain that okay. amazing flavour. Stuart, can I, can, I have, can I have one, please? Wait, wait till you taste it together. I can Must hardly try. resist. Get Ooh. ready. Get ready, steady. And all all in one. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Yeah. Elegant. That is... A really seriously wonderful dish. It's got textures, it's got fabulous flavours, little balance of, of sweetness and acidity, crunchy oyster, a bit of the sea. Mm. Mm. I've gone through that for hours. Okay. Help yourselves. Thank you. It looks marvellous. I can really like that, do we? Have a little more. That was really fantastic. Nice. Mm. It's a lovely dish. Mm. It's beautiful. Mm. That's perfect. I mean, you overuse the word perfect. That is absolutely really good. What, mm. what do you reckon, Gaffer? Is there sweet. more? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Sweet. Great question. <laughs> Sour, beautiful, the sweetness dominating. Good balance. Sweet, sweet thumbs up from this table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Proper signature dish, that. So if yeah. you'd like to make Stuart's signature mm. dish at home, then here's our shopping list. You'll need to get some really fresh oysters from the market or your fishmonger. And rock oysters are great. Then head to an Asian supermarket for Japanese breadcrumbs. You'll also need fresh fennel, dill and lemon. And for the really great, grab some white wine vinegar, olive oil and pepper.